Hey everyone, today I'm making some modern bee baths. These are really easy to make with a shallow dish and some rocks. And um, I really like these little saucers I found at Ikea. They're very modern, nice and shallow, and I think they'll look nice in a modern garden. And then these rocks are from the Dollar Tree. That's a great place to find all sorts of different kinds of rocks depending on your taste but I like these dark gray ones so I'm going to combine these two to make a little bee bath but first since this has a pad underneath I'm going to go ahead and scrape that off just so it doesn't get weird because I'm keeping these outside on the ground so let's do that first to remove this pad from the bottom I'm going to use a heat gun and a scraper and just kind of like melt and scrape this off all the way around. Um, Ikea says these are indoor or outdoor saucers but I just feel like if this is directly in the dirt it's going to get weird after a while so I thought it's probably best to go ahead and remove this. Um, but of course if you pick a different kind of dish or saucer that doesn't have this you can skip this step. Um, also I'm in a well ventilated area. I've got doors open, windows, and fans running. Uh, it is going to get weird with the smell of this melting so be careful, use caution, wear gloves, and just make sure you got air flowing while you're doing this. Okay, once your dish is ready, you can place it in the garden. You want to make sure they're fairly level to hold enough water because they're so shallow. If they're uh, uneven, they'll, they won't hold very much. And then pick a spot where you may have seen bees in your yard if you have a lot of flowers or plants that they have been attracted to, like um, my bees like these blueberries and they like the blue with the Dora back there. Once you've got them placed in the garden, you can add the rocks. And then we'll just add some water. The rocks will give them a place to land where they can get a drink and um, stay safe and not drown in the water. And so when you add the water, you want to make sure that the tops of the rocks are still exposed. And then to prevent mosquitoes, you'll want to just make sure you freshen this every day. And that's what's nice about the bigger rocks. I used to use little pea gravel, and that's a little more difficult to empty and refresh every day. But Having some bigger rocks in here should make it a little easier. Just kind of like tip it over, empty it out, freshen the water, and the bees will have clean water and you won't have mosquitoes. We'll just fill this last one. And now we've got a whole bee bath area where the bees and other local wildlife can come and get a treat and freshen up and 